part three of this three-part series of getting into the RV transport industry. Now we're heading to the Secretary of State, might be called the DMV in your state, and we're going to get our 26,000 pound registration. So let's go. <laughs> So here we are at the Secretary of State to get our 26,000 pound registration. So here it is. That plate is going to replace that plate. This is the new one with the 26,000 pound elected gross vehicle weight. Uh, I elected to go with the six month registration in my state, and it might be different in your state. In Michigan, uh, there's a three month, a six month, and a one year registration. I went with the six month to, just to get going. And then if this goes well, then I will get a uh, one year for the next one. Uh, relatively painless besides, you know, the cost, it was 350 bucks for the plate. Damn! So the only thing left now is to lease on with the company and get the unladen liability insurance. I already have a quote for that. I haven't signed the binder or, uh, paid the entry fee. You have to pay a, uh, first month and a and a deposit, it's kind of like a first and last month. You make two payments and then I'll be all set. So now back on the road for another part of this puzzle. I've passed my background check and my um, driving record check. Got all the paperwork and everything in order. The last things that I have are the drug test and orientation. And this is something that I probably should have talked about in the first video, but I didn't really think about it because it, it's not a big deal to me, but it might be a big deal to some people. Uh, yes, there's a drug test. I don't know of any companies that don't have a, uh, a drug screening. Uh, all of the big ones do. Even all the small ones that I've talked to, they all have drug screening. It's, uh, for me, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't really give it much thought, but if you are someone that partakes in the 420. Wow, man. That's some heavy shit, man. Ah. Then it might give you a problem. So you should know that that's coming up. So if you really want to do this, then maybe you get yourself cleaned out. Uh, but I'm heading down to get my drug test now at a local drug test facility. The company that I'm leasing on with does them locally. So they contract with companies that are by you. So you just go get it wherever you're at. Some of the companies do it the day of orientation or the second day of orientation that my company uh, doesn't do it that way. They do the drug screening prior to you coming down for orientation or, uh, or whichever direction you're coming from. So that's what we're doing now. Heading down for drug test. So, been drinking my water. So I can produce and get this over with. So here we are at uh, Advanced Drug Testing LLC in Sheboygan, Michigan. Uh, just went in and out. Took five minutes probably to do the whole test. So now we just have to wait for the results. I know what the results will be. They'll be clean, but gotta wait for my company to get the results. Something I should mention is that the hauling companies, they don't care what state you're from. They don't care if it's legal in your state or 
or you have a medical card or whatever. They don't care about any of that. The, the policy is none. So you have to be clean, just so you know. This is just a side note, but this is really the only downside of this truck. And it's not a huge downside, but fuel economy wise, it is. Uh, the peak torque for this truck is is at about 16 to 1800 rpm which miles. is Take. which is about 50 to 55 miles an hour so if I'm going 65 or 70 I'm well over 2000 rpm so the fuel economy suffers at that point my truck has 411 gears so it pulls like a mad dog, but fuel economy at higher speeds suffered because of it. And I know that I could change the gear ratio, but that would cost thousands to get the front and the rear differential uh, changed. The next truck that I get, I'll pay more attention to gear ratios and that kind of stuff but for this truck and I just deal with it the only other really downsides of this tr particular truck since it's older hold on railroad tracks it's just some creature comfort stuff like I don't have heated seats I really like heated seats but for the most part it's got I mean, I've added things, but it's got everything else that I that I really want. I've got GPS up there, and, and I've got uh, my Sirius radio there. So I have all those things that... I don't have air-conditioned seats either. I don't know if I'd like air-conditioned seats. If you have air-conditioned seats, leave me a comment down there and... Let me know if you like them, if you use them, if they're worth it. If I'm looking at a different truck and one has air-conditioned seats and the other one doesn't, are they worth it? So let me know. Okay. I gotta go. You gonna miss me? Next time you can go. You're sitting this one out. And we are back. And we are cruising down the road, headed to Goshen for orientation. We've been on the road for about five hours and 15 minutes now. We're almost ready to cross the Indiana border. I don't know where I'm at. Did run into one problem. I sold my fifth wheel hitch and I figured I'd pick one up on the way down. Who knew it'd be so hard to find a fifth wheel hitch? I stopped at every, uh, what are they, the Camper's World and General RV between the north part of Michigan and the south part of Michigan and nobody has any in stock. Great. So I have no fifth wheel hitch. Hopefully everything will still go okay tomorrow and they'll let me do my orientation. Who knew you had to freaking order everything that you want in the world nowadays online? I'm gonna try to get this video edited and uploaded tonight while I'm sitting in my hotel room and then hopefully the next video you see from me will be the first load with the new company. I'm excited to get rolling again and get out on the road and see this beautiful country of ours.
just stopped at a Loves in Elkhart. Yes, I'm in Elkhart. And uh, I almost forgot that you have to have a paper copy of logs. Even though you're going to run ELD on an iPad or something like that, you still have to have a backup log book with inspection sheets in it. So I had to pick one of those up. I almost forgot about that for tomorrow. So don't forget that. Get one of these. It was like four bucks, I think. Ugh. Finally made it to the hotel. Well, I didn't get that video uploaded last night. It was late. I helped a guy in the Walmart parking lot with a truck problem. And I was tired. So now it's 6.30 a.m. or almost 7, I guess. And I'm headed to orientation. It's a beautiful sunrise. Driving through Amish country. Just kind of dodging the Amish buggies. Yesterday I saw an Amish kid teenager on a bicycle being pulled by two horses now I come from some Amish country and I've never seen that before that was a new sight I still don't have a fifth wheel hitch like I said I'll have to pick one of those up hopefully at lunch or maybe they'll let me slide by for now we'll have to see how that goes I did pick up a new fifth wheel hitch ended up with a 24,000 pound when I went in to get a 20,000 pound really like it I'm never gonna haul anything that's 24,000 pounds but well who am I kidding I wasn't gonna haul anything that was 20,000 pounds but I uh, got it for an awesome price from Dooley Depot there in Goshen uh, lady I forget what her name is I'm sorry if you're watching this but she was awesome you gotta go in there and check out Dooley Depot I mean she even helped me load it into the bed of the truck and was trying to set it up for me when uh, I told her I said I can get this and she said well I'm just trying to be helpful and then uh, they threw in a set of pins to pinned into the bed and uh, a, uh, one of those Teflon discs that, uh, that go on the fifth wheel. You got to remember to take it off. Um, but she recommended the weld on one. That's probably what I'll do eventually. Well, we made it. Picking up this unit, going to Escanaba, Michigan. I have no clue what I'm doing as far as the paperwork end goes. Hooking it up and all that, that's the easy part. I gotta figure out how to do the paperwork the right way. So it's gonna take me a while to get out of this yard. But, we're on the road. Well, it took me about 25 million hours, but, we're hooked up. Hall and Paws is ready to go. And here we are. Got our first load back there. It's a 27. Speak a command. Stupid GPS. Anyway, I think it's a 27 or a 29 foot Salem. And I can for sure say that travel trailers suck worse than fifth wheels. I mean, every truck that goes by pushes this thing around. Maybe it's because it's so light. I'm not really sure. But it's getting pushed around a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. When a, uh, when a vehicle goes by, like a semi or a even just a full-size pickup truck with a trailer. You can feel it push that trailer around. It's not hauling bad. Barely tell it's there until it starts doing its 
wiggle thing. Learn the ELD. Hopefully I won't screw that up. Got another, I think, six hours that I can drive before I have to take my 30 minute break. Totally destroyed my bed back there by just throwing stuff in there because I was in a rush to get things done. So like my torque wrench is up there and everything else, I'll have to straighten that out before I go to sleep tonight. But. Here we are at the Gaylord, Michigan uh, Walmart doing our first 30 minute break. I think I'm gonna turn it into the 10 hour though. Uh, I think I'm gonna run out of time to be able to get home. I can make it to delivery, but I won't be able to get home and I'll have to do a 10 hour somewhere in the middle of the day tomorrow, so math wasn't my strong point on this trip I have to do better next time so I don't know what's going on there anybody have a clue what that's all about That's got cellular that would work fine 
I might just use it and pretty much just put the Keep Trucking app on it. That way when I get a DOT inspection, I just hand them the iPad and really the only thing on there is, um, is like maybe the load board and the Keep Trucking app. Most of the other stuff I do on my phone anyway, I just thought it'd be uh, nicer or easier to have a larger screen to do the logging on. I'll have to see how it works on the phone. I haven't tried it on a phone. Maybe I'll just do it on the phone. But we'll see. Well, maybe the cellular uh, iPad will work better for things like Hulu and Netflix and that kind of stuff while I'm on the road. But honestly, when I stopped last night, I had plans on doing some video editing and kind of sitting around while I'm doing my 10 hour. Nope. I crashed out and I was out cold. I slept the best last night that I've slept in a long time. Right in the back of this truck. Super comfortable mattress. I do need a fan. So I'm gonna pick up one of those Ryobi uh, battery powered fans that'll work with the batteries that I already have, rechargeable ones. The temperature was was nice, I just didn't have any airflow. So, and it was humid. So, I think I'll get one of those fans and then I would have been fine. goes seeing that it's my first delivery So first delivery, he's doing his check. I'm all unhooked, got my plate. Only thing I got left is get the battery out of it. And then hopefully everything goes good. So now he's inside doing the inside inspection. That's why you leave your battery in it so they can put the slides out and get in there and check everything out. But don't forget your battery. We are in the home stretch. Getting ready to pull into home base here. Top of this hill. Here we are. That 
that's the end of this journey. So that's that. We're home. Made it home safe and sound. The old girl did awesome. Where's my doggies at? They're up there Oop, looking at me in that window. You can see Kyber, the golden up there. Let's go see her. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, so excited, so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's the end of part three of the three-part series of getting started in the RV transport industry. My hauling paws. She did an awesome job. Daisy did what she was supposed to do. I'm home safe. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, then click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment down below. We really would appreciate it. And as always, have safe travels and I'll see you on the road.